Okay, so here we are with Damon at Greenhorn Gardening, and I just wanted to share a cool thing that I did a couple of years ago. It's a prototype for a uh, solar dehydrator that I made. Here we have some basic 2x4s, and as you know, there's a lot of shade here, so having a completely solar dehydrator wasn't the best of ideas, but it was just something cool to try, and I had a bunch of extra uh, tarp here that I used actually as the cover for the greenhouse here. As you can see the little miniature greenhouse there. You see the little hoops there? That covers the greenhouse, as you have may have seen in some other photos from time to time that I've put up. And, um, and I use that as the main covering for the dehydrator here. Now this is, do not use pressure treated wood, just don't do that. And as you'll see a little bit closer here in the photo, this is our basil leaves. It's a little bit different angle. These are some grates that I found that I had like from an old refrigerator and that needs to be burnt off or scraped off as well it's just not good to have all that stuff under plastic or whatnot and this little black stuff here there's a metal here roofing here that i had under here uh i had some roofing work on the house done and this was uh, left over from that and you can paint that with some barbecue uh, paint uh you know barbecue grill paint because it will get up pretty hot in here but not not oven hot temperatures, but enough to begin to dry away the uh, the the leaves and to dehydrate, you know, and it creates a convection current. There's a little opening here where a cool air comes in. It moves up along this black heated surface. It heats up, heats up, carries away moisture in here and comes out this end through an opening here. And it works actually fairly well. Here's another angle here. This basil is back in 2010, as you can see, but uh, dries the leaves very well. And that's all I really ever dried in it was leaves. Uh, I never, I, I think I tried to dry some onions in it or something like that. I, I, I forget exactly everything. And um, like I say, here's the that little mesh there, some nylon mesh I had back from my outdoor camping, uh, backpack making uh, days. Just, just laying around the house and all this is from material laying around the house and things like that and so and this is just a first version of this and I'm working on another version of it for this season never got a chance to use it or modify it last season so that's why that says 2010 and this is 2012 but uh, you know this is a prototype uh, dehydrator and it works pretty well and uh, hey if you guys have uh, you know used dehydrators or things like that I, I prefer dehydrating over just about any other uh, form of um, storage other than maybe putting it in the freezer uh, very quickly uh, that works for me very well because you know when you dry your food you can save space you can keep it dry you can you know have a special shelf for it and you can store it in bags and and, you know, and that's a good thing um, you can just store things in the cupboard as opposed to always having it in the freezer or the refrigerator you don't have to pay for any energy uh, even if it's electric dehydrator you only had to use the dehydrator once to, to dry it as opposed to continuing to pay costs, you know, the refrigerator, freezer, things like that, to keep it, uh, to keep it from spoiling, you know. And this is one of the things. This is one of the ways to uh, keep your food uh, from spoiling. You just draw all the water out of it. And you can see that's the mesh is up, and and see, I just need to burn all that off with a torch or something, and that'd be a lot better. So. And that's how I use dehydrators for the most part in the Greenhorn Garden. And if you want uh, more information, you know, the claim your free organic fertilizer a recipe. The right way to make and use organic fertilizers, go on over to Greenhorn Gardening forward slash claim and download that. And I'll see you guys later. Growing big.